Well, good afternoon and welcome to the 68th Annual St. Patty's Day Parade. Jeff Doan and Mike Wasdala, glad to have you along, brother. Yeah, Jeffrey, it's a great day in Bay City once again, number 68. East to west down Center Avenue. A uh, little brisk wind going on out there today, but you know what? Any day's a good day for parade, especially on St. Patrick's Day. Well, it's a bright, sunshiny day. It's yep. the first right of spring. There's a huge crowd out. They're dressed for the occasion. Yeah. They're ready to go. Yeah, we're uh, they look nice and toasty. We've got the uh, same crew working again this year, Jeff, and uh, we're just about ready to get number 68 underway. They're just getting to the stoplight here at Madison Avenue. Well, the first division is dedicated to local area businesses that continue to provide services during the cur current economic challenges as we move forward together. So this is just a reminder, try and support local. Support your local businesses, and we'll see a lot of those in the parade to Jeff. We'll see some new ones, and as always, we'll see those ones that have been in the parade forever. Well, we're going to start with the Department of Public Safety, and Director Caleb Rowell is uh, here today, and what a seamless transition he's made as he took over the reins this year. Uh, extremely uh, well-liked and popular and made things happen, and uh, this just continues to be a great partnership between the city and fire department. Yep, been around since 2013, Jeff, as the uh, Department of Public Safety, 24-hour law enforcement. So we uh, we all know they do a great job. And right behind them is uh, our Bay County Sheriff, Troy Cunningham. Well, Troy has also done a great job over many, many years. Great stability there in the Sheriff's Department for many years. And great to have him in the parade right there in the passenger seat waving away. Troy does a nice job. Got a big smile on his face. And uh, thank Troy for all his hard efforts. Well, next we have the Michigan State Police. And it says, be the difference, you know. When they all wear the same uniform, but the different backgrounds and everything that they come from is big. And uh, we love to have them. And look at engine number one here in beautiful Bay City, one of our newest and finest trucks. Bay City Fire Department, that's another part of the Bay City uh, Public Safety. It provides the best possible safety services in Bay City. And Jeff... Next up is our good friends right next door, the City of Essexville Fire Department. Uh-oh, they were going a little bit too fast on the way to the parade. It looked like they might have picked <laughs> off a wee leprechaun on the way, Mike. Or he needed a ride someplace. <laughs> well, their responsibility falls into three areas, police, fire, and emergency medical response. They are able to be there 24-7 away and a great partnership that they have with Bay City and the surrounding communities. Up next, Jeff, is uh, Bangor Township Fire Department. They've been, they've been around since March 22nd, 1859. So that's our friends right next door across the river for uh, Bangor Township serving uh, a little bit of Saginaw, Caucalan Rivers. They do a fantastic job assisting all the locals. Well, and next to them is Hampton Township, and Hampton Township does a, a lot of coordination with Essexville specifically. But again, the camaraderie between all these units when they need support and help, they jump right on board in a hurry, and they certainly are there to support each other. They really have, Jeff, and uh, it's great, a great collaboration between all the uh, uh, immediate responders, and they do a tremendous job. This looks like our friends and some older truck from Monitor Fire Department. Well, and I don't have the year on that. I believe it, it looks like it's probably something from the maybe late 40s, early 50s, based on the siren on top. Older and, than us, I hope. And I, I don't know if Monitor still got that, or that might be part of the Jimmy <laughs> Dobson group yeah, that he's got that's at his true. Uh, little gay rods. That's true. And here's engine number uh, 01 from Monitor Township again, and provided uh, providing they uh, do great community service over our friends over at Monitor Township Fire Department. Brand new facility out there yes. at Monitor for yes. their uh, fire department and for their town offices. Does a great job. Another important part, MMR, Mobile Medical Response. That is uh, all through the Tri-City area. They have a branch in Bay City. They're also in and out of Saginaw. So they work very well with our next partner that's coming up, and that is the Patriot Ambulance Service. So we got a couple of the uh, ambulance services in town, Jeff. And uh, this looks like uh, some more friends from the Bay City Public Safety. Yep, and the... Uh, 
The Patriot Service is veteran-owned. It's serving Michigan since 2004, and it covers all over Bay County. It's based in Cuckallan. And uh, and once again, being on live TV, so we're going to... Uh, we're going to get her going, but there we go. This is one of our K-9. buddies, K-9. When he comes to Bay City Central, there's a few people that pucker <laughs> up a little bit when he comes sniffing through the building, but that's one way we keep it safe. The Marine Corps League of Bay and Saginaw County, uh, they were established in June of 1923, and the mission of the Marine Corps League is to promote the interest and to preserve the traditions of the United, United States Marine Corps. Love to see the flags yeah, waving in the breeze, is, Mike. This is uh, American Legion Post number 239, the nation's largest wartime nonprofit veteran service organization. And they're based in Crump, Michigan. And they include the Sons of American Legion, Auxiliary, and Riders. And Ken Bowden is their commander. Yes, as uh, he does a great job, too. Ken is very active in the community and great to see him as well. Here's a real popular one, Jeff. The Saginaw Valley Ship Museum, home of the USS Edson, DD-946. Those those guys are a dedicated group over there. You know, just coming over the Indy Bridge the other day, and I don't make that trip often. That's a very imposing yeah, thing. You look to your pretty... right going east to west and go, wow, <laughs> I'm glad that thing's docked and not coming at the bridge. <laughs> it is very impressive going across that bridge. We've got the Cass River Composite Squadron. It's the Civil Air Patrol Color Guard. And the leader is Beth Johnson of that group. Well, look at this uh, big fellow walking down the street there, Jeff. A big Great Dane. I bet, you know, look, he's saddled up like he could probably get some rides with that big dog. <laughs> Woo, that's a big fella right there. <laughs> and uh, the color guard next, I believe we're going to have VVA 494. And with members walking and riding, proudly honor the American flag today and always. As I would say, potentially, we're still going to have uh, something coming here from the Cass River Composite as uh, they're cruising down right now. I believe old Wiley is part of that <laughs> Cass River Composite is, group. <laughs> is that Wiley E. Coyote? Yes, indeed. <laughs> you know, for, for all the bad luck he has, he sure can uh, survive all that If stuff. you can fall off a 5,000-foot cliff and be back, Back for the next episode, and, you're tough. And then right after that, get blown up by a keg of dynamite. You're one tough son of a gun. He, he just keeps coming back for more. Good old Wiley. I'm glad he made it to the parade today. <laughs> oh. and now we've got a rider in a convertible, and we know what that means. Yep, that, that is our parade marshal. They're sitting down in the car. They're not going to be riding on the back today. Away from the wind. Our parade marshal is Agnes Brennan Reeder. And... Uh, Great to be honored as the marshal, and she's also happy to be the 68th marshal. Her father, Thomas Brennan, was the 8th parade marshal way back in the early 60s. Married her high school sweetheart, Tony Reeder, and have seven children, and they're just having a great time, and we know we want to listen to this. We'll talk about this later. Woo, I'll tell you what, that gives you those goosebumps right there, Jeff. And up next is the Bay City St. Pat's Queen in their court. The Queen Elizabeth Watts had a nice conversation with Mom and Dad right before I got into the trailer. Second runner-up, Alexia Malusi, Princess Joanna Elder. First runner-up, Isabella Danks. And well, I get to see Joanna Elder and Isabel Danks uh, all the time over at Bay City Central. There you go. I told them to make sure they had their best parade waves going here as they're well, up in the front. And I said, just make sure that you're dressed appropriately because it will be a wee bit chilly. Well, you did a nice job. The wave was going. And up next, our friends from All Saints Central Catholic Elementary is a preschool through fifth grade located right next to All Saints Middle School and High School right behind the old St. James Church. Very nice thing about that group is those numbers are starting to slowly come back up, and All Saints looked like they were in trouble for a few yeah. years having to close, but it looks like there's a resurgence, and we're really happy to see that. Nice to see that my alma mater's uh, grown a little bit, Jeff, and there were all the kids uh, waving, having a great day, and being first in the in the in the 
parade, get you home earlier, and they're, they're singing the fight song. When the Saints go marching <laughs> in as the All Saints band is there. And now we have got Miss Bay County. Uh, Kaylee Carter, outstanding teen, is Ava Mendoza. Junior Miss, Spencer Hamilton. Prince is Sam Shackley. Little Miss is Kensley Walsh and Princess Isabella Slater. Miss Bay County Scholarship Program provides opportunities to young women working to achieve their dreams and make their lives better and a difference in the community. Nice job by those young ladies. There's Junior Miss, and boy, they're riding in some pretty nice automobiles. Mustangs, and it looked like there was a couple Corvettes, Jeff, and there's a Little Miss and the Princess. Happy St. Patrick's Day, ladies. So they're moving and waving and shaking just to make sure that they stay, stay warm. warm. Now we've got the city of Bay City with Mayor Kathleen Newsham and Dana Muscat, the city manager. And they encourage uh, all to be interested and participate in the meetings as they have them on Mondays. And looks like we've got a little group of them out and marching right now. And looks like we might have the uh, Bay County folk right behind oh, yeah. them. There's, uh, there's our good friend Jim Barsha right there, Jeff. With some of the yeah, county you, commissioners yeah. uh, right along with them, and they look like they are just enjoying the St. Patty's Day and the Essexville Commission right there behind them as well as uh, we all know Jen Gradowski and Scott Whitbro, yep, Jack Covio, Dennis Rondow, Todd Went, Dennis Rondow, our old boy Junior D. Adam Hughes, and John Conley. So great group of people as uh, they cruise down the street. And uh, here comes another old-fashioned Essexville fire truck, Jeff. And up next is our friends uh, Kristen McDonald Rivet, state senator, Joel, her husband, and a whole bunch of uh, supporters for Kristen McDonald Rivet. Well, Joel has uh, been very active in the community for many years, and she Kristen has more than 30 years of experience in public policy and advocacy, and so uh, she is perfect for the position, and we're glad she could make it here for the parade today. And again, as uh, being on live TV, we just kind of go with the flow, Jeff. And sometimes uh, it's not what we have on paper, but we'll make the best of it. And coming up next is our Frankenmuth Bavarian Festival Princess and her court. And the Bavarian Festival is June 8th through 11th in downtown Frankenmuth. And the main tent will be located in Zender Park and will host a number of traditional German entertainers and polka bands. Well, those girls decided if we're wearing long pants today, they had to be thick <laughs> leather pants to try and stay good. That's always one of the nice floats and is always yes. in contention every year. State Representative Tim Beeson, born in Bay City, Michigan. Up next, graduate Bay City John Glenn. He's a Bobcat, graduated back in 1992. He earned his uh, business degree right here from Saginaw Valley State University and, of course, owning uh, one of the Beeson markets as well as it's uh, always great to have Timmy Beeson available here in town. As I believe that might all be part of the basic Republican Party and their mission to elect Republicans at all levels of government in Bay County to assist in the election at the state and federal levels and promote the conservative principles of their party. They're proud to be Americans. And I like the sign back the blue, too. Yeah. I, I like yeah. their support for the police as that uh, group comes by right now from the Bay County Republican Party. Next up, Jeff, is our friends AAA of Midland. AAA Michigan members get roadside assistance, insurance, travel, banking, discounts, and much, much more. Visit one of the local branches in Saginaw Midland and do not say anything about the Bay City branch. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have read that. <laughs> sorry. Bay City Branch uh, has conjoined with oh, the okay. Saginaw I did Midland not know and that. it's no longer there. Nick so will have to want, cut that out. We won't have to have <laughs> people worrying about uh, going did. to the Bay City store. <laughs> Mark Spragata sitting right in front of us right now taking a wee bit of Woo. pictures. Joe 93 FM at work 80s and more in the morning. The old Wixie 97.3 yeah. converted over to Joe FM. They play a great mix of music all day long. Mo locally owned and operated by McDonald Broadcasting yet. <laughs> well, we love live TV. I, I, live TV is at its best. <laughs> As we've got vocational education coming up here, it promote it provides a future for the working class, 
And that's uh, Bill Jordan oh, saying yeah. happy St. Patrick's Day. Bill used to be on the uh, school board out for the Bay Aranac ISD, so he's uh, he does a nice job supporting that group out there. <laughs> As this parade just continues to roll on, and I believe the – Pace is a wee bit quicker today, Mike, <laughs> as we are glad to have you along. Jeff Doan, Mike Wasdala, Jared Doan is out there right now. And uh, we chilly, but he's on the cameras and Nick yeah. Page producing. And then, of course, don't Stephen forget, Bauer upstairs. Don't you dare forget things. Stephen Bauer. He said, you better give me four <laughs> shout-outs today, so I'm going to mark number one next to Stephen's name. <laughs> so what do we got coming here? Patient safety, and that would be... Part of the uh, SEIURNs, thank you, McLaren SEIU nurses, as they walk today for patient safety. They deliver quality nursing care through the nursing process. There's a pretty important group right there, my friend. They th Support your local nurses. They, they've been practicing. They was all in unison <laughs> there, brother. That was a good one, too. <laughs> As yep, the, yep, General Motors and Union uh, United Law Workers, Jeff, 362, is a labor organization located in Michigan. It represents auto uh, workers and has 746 members in there, probably a little bit more than that. But, man, what a resurgent uh, that powertrain has made over there on Woodside. Oh, for sure. Local 362 amalgamated. Oh, amalgamated. Know. Oh, yeah, that's the word they wanted <laughs> Did us to Did you look that sure. up? Oh, no, I've been studying it all morning, so I knew it would roll <laughs> off the tongue. Well, <laughs> at least you read it right, yes. unlike me. I know Nick will whoop that yeah, out. That's all great. <laughs> Nick is a master at the, his craft. <laughs> Up next, Jeff, is uh, one of our favorites, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 692. Well, the IBEW 692 proudly serving 19 counties wow. in northeastern Michigan since 1937. They do a tremendous job. They were many years sponsors of our sports program on television and uh, just huge advocates for all things Bay County. Yeah, they, uh, they jumped on board for a year, maybe a year and a half, and we certainly appreciate it. And next up is one of the high Hot spots on the riverfront in downtown uh, Bay City. It's an all-green sponsor, Jeff, and they are sponsoring the Bay City Central Band. It overlooks the Saginaw River, five minutes walk from downtown Bay City, including sites of the State Theater, Delta College, Planetarium. They got rooms on the waterfront, downtown views, right off of I-75. I tell you what, it is absolutely a gorgeous place. The warm cookie awaits oh, your pillow, too. Man. And we know that's a fabulous thing. Now, we have got the John Glenn Marching Band with Doug Lau, the band director, and let's listen to them play. Notice they've also got that uh, weather-protected outer jacket on. They were glad to have those in their repertoire. And here's the uh, Banger John Glenn and Kristen McAuliffe band trailer that is a staple of all the high school bands in the area, needing that to travel to competition and possibly to away games for the fighting John Glenn Bobcats. Next is the Student Senate Homecoming Court for 2022. Homecoming King is Carlos Rocha, and the 22 Homecoming Queen is Lauren Gallagher, along with the rest of the court on there. Congratulations to those John Glenn Bobcats on their homecoming court. Nice job by those kids. That was back in October, Jeff. Boy, this year is going by fast. We're almost into April. Next thing you know, we're looking towards the end of the school year already. Well, Close. Look, looking right here up at the Emanuel Lutheran, looks like we've got Lexi Treleski and Mom <laughs> cruising through the parade. So great to see them leading the contingency from Emanuel Lutheran Parent Teacher League. They are growing in God's grace. That's their theme. The float shows growth is like a farm. It has a garden with plants and trees and animals. The students are farmers of faith. What a great yep. little concept and a great place uh, right over in your neck of the woods yeah, over there on Lincoln. Yeah, not too far. They, uh, and Chris Trelaski's there, too. This is truly a well, big day. it's a who's who over there at Emanuel Lutheran. <laughs> They've been around a long time, that school. 
Well, Chris uh, also just joined a couple of years ago, the board of directors there at the church. So very active group and a, a great church here in Bay City, longstanding church. How about the Montrose Blueberry Qu uh, Festival, Queen, Jeff? It's uh, Queen Aileen Munson and Court Zoe Haven, escorted by 2022 Blueberry Queen Madison Robinson Wood and Court Jaden Kovac. So congratulations. And, boy, I am a big Blueberry fan. Oh, I oh. love it, too. You know, it's only 40 minutes down the road towards Flint. Yep. And so it's quick and easy to get to, and uh, it's a scrump delicious festival. <laughs> like to thank some of our great sponsors. We have Consumers Energy for being our Emerald sponsor this year. McLaren Bay Region for being the Shamrock sponsor. Doubletree for being the all-green sponsor and the sponsor of Bay City Central Marching Band. Also a big thank you out to Pro for hosting. Uh, they're an all-green sponsor. Tri-City RV for providing the motorhomes and thumbprint for their, in their kind services and Thank you to Bay County TV and crew for streaming and broadcasting our parade to the community. Look at this. Announcers, too. Who? You get the top billing, brother. Again? Mike uh, was down and Jeff Don't. I'm glad to know I'm in the top two. <laughs> that hasn't happened in 30 years, you're, my friend. You're worthy of every bit of it. Also <laughs> to the city officials and our fine, fine public safety department, Todd Armstrong, who was the coordinator for keeping us safe during the parade and throughout the year, and to the County of Bay for their help and cooperation as well. And a thank you to Placemats for uh, their kind services and Titan Golf Cart for supplying the golf cart so the uh, they can get back and forth down the parade route, Jeff. It is just great to have them all along as we're going to get back to the State Street Academy right now. And they offer kindergarten through ninth grade free public charter school with small classes and a great family feel. That's over in the old visitation church and school area. So very popular. You see their buses cruising around town. And look, Mike, right on uh, you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, perfect. I love those school buses. What type we got here? That it looks like that's a uh, Fleetliner Thomas, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> got it all decked out. And uh, the safest vehicle on the road today, Jeff, is, a, is the black and yellow school now, well, bus. Now, we got a second. There's three lines on the side of that one's, bus. One's the floor, one's the seat level, one's the top of the seat. And you Saw just that set the other something day. out this week, I and did. I said, that is awesome. You know what? It's important that we keep an eye out for those things in the, during the school year, and they do, uh, they do a great job transporting their kids. So next is Consumers Energy. They're proud to be an Emerald sponsor of the parade this year. They provide electric and natural gas services to about 6.7 million of the state's 10 million residents, and uh, that is just fabulous as you look at some of these great trucks. and. Fortunately, they haven't had to be overused yes. this winter as we've yeah. been, had a pretty well, safe winter. Not, not so much here in Michigan, but the folks in the West Coast and the East Coast, uh, their utility companies have done yeoman's work this year, Jeff. As uh, we see some more of those, I also would like to thank Pearson Environmental. They're supplying the port johns for today Ooh. and the Parade Association members who do a tremendous job all year long making things happen for us here. Big thank you to Nelson and Company Julie for your their support and their donations and big thanks to First Presbyterian Church for their hospitality this year, Jeff. Bay Metro's keeping our hands warm and the volunteers at Central Western, John Glenn, All Saints and Garber for helping with the cleanup. I'm this, thinking uh, now, what do we have here? The uh, Deutsche American oh. National Congress is the Great Lakes Bay Region German Club. There, Monty Big Cat Oswald. <laughs> <laughs> this year, DANK is hosting the National German Club Convention at the Double Tree, downtown Bay City, September 17th to the 19th. Free German TV, radio, genealogy, cooking recipes, and the website, Dank. Dot org. All right, Frank and Muth Credit Union, the giant purple piggy bank is named Boss Hog. Fill that up with change and you'll be able to retire. That looks like your bank your bank account right and there. And I've got something right on the bottom level that almost fills the bottom <laughs> end of it. <laughs> as uh, looks like we've got a, our group from uh, TV5 here as well. As KCQ. KCQ is also coming up in the most country. As that is 98 uh, FM, and they've been around for a long time, making it happen as well. We might have a little change in the rotation here, Jeff, so we'll keep an eye out for TV5, but I think what... They may have just been walking prior to KCQ with yep. the group of people. They didn't have a vehicle, but uh, they 
they do a, a great oh. job of keeping us yeah. abreast, especially with winter conditions that pop up in a hurry. Well, guess what's up? St. Stan's Athletic Club hosting the annual Polish Festival on June 22nd through the 25th. St. Stan's a nonprofit which raises money for youth sports, scholarships, and other organizations in need. Ooh, that's one of my all time favorites. Listen to the music. <laughs> it's always great when you can see that group from R and R Ready Mix, another long standing member of the Tri Cities, as they do a great job. No matter how big or small your need is for concrete, they come right up and deliver it to your house and start things off in style. Couple other sponsors, uh, Jeff, the volunteers of Central Western, John Glenn, All Saints, and Garber for helping with the cleanup and the lineup, and our good friends from Mark One Photography for their kind services this year. Well, Mark One was just standing in front of us a few minutes ago as he'll get some great uh, photos. Mark Spragata, a Thomas Lincoln Handy graduate back from a couple of years before <laughs> me. So that would make him somewhere in the uh, late 90s, well. I think. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe we got some uh, 7-Eleven reps here just based on what the the uh, hot dog that they just cruised by with. But we've got some great sponsors. This has uh, turned into a great 68th annual parade. Jeff Doan, Mike Wasdala, Jared Doan out on the truck braving the weather, the back of his pickup truck to get an elevated view over the crowd that just continues to inch out. Look at this down the street. Does this tell yeah. you that uh, there's a few people here excited? Well, Don't forget about Nick Page and, of course, upstairs well, Stephen Bauer. Pushing. <laughs> All the right buttons. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, you know, St. Patrick's was on a Friday this year, so this weekend was a little extra special with a little extra things going on. So a lot of people came into town. Uh, started early last week, but uh, this is how we finish it with this great parade. Now I believe uh, we're going to see something here. This uh, I don't believe is part of the Lions Club group. but we're... It looks like Skorupski's, Jeff, funeral home. All right. Yep, with locations in Bay City and Saginaw. On this journey, we all will walk. We promise you, you'll never be walking alone. They do a great job. Here, here's Bay County Blizzard Hockey. Look at these 10 U kids. They are fired up, flying down. They have number one, the Michigan Amateur Hockey Association, District 5 Playoff Tournament. Good luck to the Blizzards as they play in the state playoffs. But I go out to the hockey rink and a lot to do the Wolves hockey. Yeah. See these young folks out there, and uh, hockey is alive and well in Bay County. Yeah, that's uh, they, we've got some great young hockey players in this community, Jeff, with a lot of other uh, young student athletes with our baseball, softball. It was a, it was a good, it was a good fall. It was a good winter, and it's going to be a great spring here in Bay County. And uh, this also part of the Bay County Blizzard and. You know, they teach students how to learn and grow. And when you go out there, mostly before these Wolves hockey games on, uh, a lot of them are on Wednesdays, they do an hour of public skate. And that ice arena is jam-packed with people. Is that uh, Sammy Spirit right there in the back of that float? It might very oh, well it be. it is. Look at you with is the big it? peeps going. Well, yeah. Look well, at you, Sammy. He's got it made. We, uh, You and I had a little, uh, went to a hockey game a couple weeks ago and just had an outstanding, wonderful time up in the Eagle Nest Suite. You know, every time we go, Mike, we wonder, why don't we do this more? What great, <laughs> easy, family-friendly uh, activity all it is at the Saginaw Civic Center. When uh, you go to the Civic Center, then you're going to see uh, oh, Mr. The, All Saints. Dow Event Center. Dow Event Center. Yeah, see, go, I'm aging myself. You're going back to the Gears days, my <laughs> friend. But, no, it was uh, – uh, I won that suite, and we had a great time, and uh, we did have an opportunity to chat with our good friend Craig Goslin from the Saginaw Spirit, so that was fun. Boy, they do a, just a tremendous job with that organization. That was not on our script, uh, but that was worthy anyway. <laughs> That's the abominable snowman right there, my friend. He is for the blizzard. just cruising with the blizzard, <laughs> saying, yep, I uh, I look like I could be the warmest person in the setup today. And now we think we're going to have Bay City Academy. They create a loving environment where kids feel safe so they can learn at a higher level. Bay City Academy, they teach content, but they also teach student, students how to learn and grow. Darcy Long there, our friend Jason Newsham, uh, Brendan, uh, Brandon as well as... 
Everybody yeah, else, Coach Deacons, uh, Deacons yeah, yeah. they've got uh, just a tremendous staff. The old Farragut School that they've really done a nice job with. Yeah, and one of their uh, school buses had their yellow lights on, Jeff. That means that they're just about ready to stop. And then when the door opens, it turns on their red lights, and everybody's got to stop in all directions. And Cardinal Hospice is next. They focus on you as if it was their your own family. At Cardinal Hospice, our mission is to provide the highest quality end of end of life care to everyone experiencing a life limiting condition. Well, that was a great organization, this hospice. And I'm trying to see who is coming up next down Center Avenue. They have got a, a few uh, slight. Uh, intermittent breaks, I guess, is the best way to put them here. But more people coming down, trying to stay warm. Well, but warming to a great crowd. Well, a couple of them have their uh, medals on from uh, running or walking the race today, Jeff. So this looks like uh, Team One Credit Union. And featuring the Green Machine mobile ATM van with employees and their families walking in today's parade. It is a great setup. We've got people watching in Florida right now. Wow. Uh, there might be a tad bit warmer than we are right now, but welcome Floridians. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> it might be warmer everywhere than it is in well, Michigan. Yeah, well, Jan Rouse said that she talked to somebody the other day, and they said to Jan, is though, are those two gentlemen, he said. I don't know where he got that. They got from. somebody new. Yeah, they, he said, are they going to be doing the parade and he, they, Jan said, yep, they'll be doing the parade. He goes, I really like those guys. And she said, well, you got some fans. I said, well, at least we know we got one. Yep, number one at the Friday <laughs> Supper so Club. We can keep great working stuff. on it. <laughs> Again, thank some of our great sponsors, Consumers Energy, McLaren Bay Region, Doubletree, Surf Pro, Tri-City RV, keeping us warm <laughs> and dry today, Thumbprint, and the Bay County TV crew here today as well. Thanks to the city officials and Bay City Safety Department, Jeff Todd Armstrong, coordinator, for keeping everybody safe during the parade. Big thanks to the County of Bay for their help and cooperation and placemats for you or in all the services. Titan Golf, Pearson, uh, Pearson Environmental. And, Jeff, I'm going to let you take this one before we see the pipe band. Well, we have got Heidi oh. and Mark Nirenberg drop by this vanilla <laughs> M and M sandwich cookie. Oh my! What are you going to eat? Thank you, brother <laughs> Nirenberg, because uh, by the time oh we could split this and still be full. <laughs> and uh, rumor has it there'll be a new location soon. But let's hear the bagpipes. I think that's a fun Scottish pipe band, Jeff. And here's the Ancient Order of Hibernians, Gary Phillips, Larry Sullivan, and the gang. Well, they are here having a great time today and a great walk, and love that uh, Big Mitchell bus. Guess where I saw that bus parked out in front of today when I was at 7-Eleven on Columbus? Oh, tell me. Green Hot. Oh, they, yes. They're they... in there getting the, getting all their strategizing done, Jeff, for the Ancient Order of Hibernians, the oldest Catholic lay organization in America, founded in 1836, but has the largest ethnic society in the world with divisions across the U.S., close ties with the AOH in Ireland, England, Scotland, and Wales. And they have been a long-standing member of our parade as well as it looks like we have got ourselves about a three-block hiatus of folk. I don't know. Maybe if we've got uh, a band or something. Do you think we can fill something? it? <laughs> we'll certainly do what we can. But, you know, as we continue to thank all the people, you know, city officials, Department of Public Safety, Todd Armstrong coordinates that. Uh, you've got the County of Bay for their help and cooperation. You've got plate smats for you, Titan Golf Carts. Pearson Environmental, and this is huge because, you know, Mike, when we were kids coming to the parade, 
you literally had to dance for an hour and a half during yes. the parade because they didn't have the porta facilities available. Now you can do that. You can get right back into your spot in line and enjoy the parade. Well, so thank you, Pearson. Unless you know somebody on the parade route or close to the parade uh, route. <laughs> yes. Like over in that high rent district. Or somebody that's got keys. <laughs> in the county building. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to the uh, parade association, Jeff, for their longtime dedication and for their newest members, for their amazing support and organizing and putting on this parade. You know, it takes a lot of work to do this, and as soon as this one is done, uh, they get together and debrief, and they start going for uh, number 69 next year. And this is one of the bigger parades that we've had in a long time, 135 spots in this parade. And there may be a couple that because of weather or whatever last-minute reason they could not make it, but it is great to see these numbers staying strong. And obviously, as we get a great look down Center Avenue right now, there is a large contingency of people. The rain the other day knocked a lot of the snow off the corner and allowed people to move right up to the corner. Yeah, big thanks to uh, Nelson and Company Jewelry for support and donation. Dave Nelson does a fantastic job. Downtown Bay City, First Pres Church for their hospitality. Hospitality, Bay Metro for keeping the bands warm. The volunteers from Central, Western, John Glenn, All Saints, Garber for helping uh, with the lineup and keeping the parade route clean. Uh, Mark One Photography, Robbie Schmidt for the flag raising ceremonies. It is just a huge, you Brian Krause out here yep. up front right now. is Some big hitters are walking the parade route today. I just had a, an opportunity to do a video for them to promote their services here in Bay County, and it was great to see as we finally are within a block or so of having our people come back. Again, remind you, if uh, you want to send us a, a quick message telling us where you're watching all over the country, we'll do our very best to give you a little shout out whichever part of the country uh, because always a part of you is in bay city today whether you're here or not that's exactly right jeff big thank you also to the parade judges for their services in determining the winning floats for this year all right so it looks now like we have got preferred care and carriage house Preferred Care of Michigan in the Carriage House Nursing and Rehab. The Colonnades Assisted Living and Hampton Nursing and Rehab, Bay City's choice provider for your nursing and rehabilitation needs. As again, uh, very caring and compassionate. When you've got loved ones that are getting up in age and how much peace of mind you can have knowing that they're being cared for. You go visit them as much as you can, and they normally have a smile on their face because things are well. Yep, those are uh, very, very nice places out there, Jeff. Up next, it looks like, uh, is this our friends from Shine Water? Keep a close eye on this. this. Is rock show. Oh, this is still from the uh, from the from the Hamptons and the Carriage House and the Colonnades. The Rock Show. They do a great job. They do. Sounds good. Or uh, another vehicle from the uh, Carriage House and the Colonnades, getting folks to where they need to go. And here comes Shine Water Jeff, a Bay City company. The only ready to drink beverage with 100% of daily vitamin D. Seven flavors to choose from available at Meyer, Target, Forwards, Jack's Meat Market, and available in bottles and kids' purchases also. And recently stepped up to sponsor JJKN 3X3. Yep, so yep, yep. they're really active here. Now we've got the Great Lakes Bay Health Center Mobile Dental as they do a tremendous job of cruising all over the place. Smiles are everywhere when you leave this big bus. Looks like up next is a children's therapy corners offers speech, occupational, and physical therapies, as well as applied behavior analysis to kids around the state of Michigan. And when you say that uh, applied behavior, they come in and they do a great analysis to see where the, your deficiencies lie to bring you right back up to speed where you can then be much more productive in your classroom setting. Up next, it looks like it's the uh, Munger Potato Festival, the Queen and Court. 
Essexville and North Carolina to the mix now, too. So a little Carolina <laughs> blue, unless they're an yeah. NC State fan. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, if we uh, did not get a chance to look at the names on the side, did not, uh, see did not get the Munger Potato Bowl Festival court. So uh, look at this old varsity jacket on this uh, gentleman Oh, that's here. an old one. That's the Valley Arrow Club. They have got barrel plane trains as a 55-gallon barrels turned into airplanes for kids. And, man, I want to tell you what, that is a party, family-friendly <laughs> event. If you've got a kid's birthday party and you have these guys come, <laughs> the kids will definitely be able to say Yahoo! as they cruise around on these 55-gallon drums. And look, at they're all yeah, locally they, sponsored. They are. Krizak South, United States Air Force, uh, Greg Pinnell, MD, Rise Sign Shop. Uh, Whitehawk Flyer, South End Citizen District. What else we got, Jeff? Uh, Water Street, Mitchell Motor Coach, Randall Ruff, Karijak's House. Man, some big, big sponsors on those little planes right there. That Great is job. Just really fun to it see is. as they take care of that. Now we have got maybe the newest addition to the radio world, 92.3 uh, Division of the Bay. With more continuous soft rock. So, great addition now to the music itinerary here in the Tri Cities. Number one on my dial. Yes, indeed. Along with 104.1, the uh, simulcast, the same at 1400 a.m. It's a trifecta of goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, Jeff, it looks like our friends from the uh, Bay County Prevention Network. Committed to creating a safe and healthy, drug-free community. And this uh, Bay County Prevention Network does a great job connecting with these kids, telling them that you can have fun without being all doped up and drugged up all the time. So they send a great and clear message to these young people, and they look like they're having a grand and glorious time today in the parade. Nice job by that uh, organization, Jeff, helping out the uh, local youth. Looks like this up up is uh, Bay County Prevention Network committed to creating a safe. Oh, no, we already did that one. Still there. Pier 360. As uh, we're going to have to wing this, I don't uh, see exactly what we've got here. It's uh, This still, kinda, still could be yeah, part of yep. that... Uh, Bay County Prevention Network, and I believe it is because that 360 yeah. is they're trying to bring you full service and uh, your recovery pathway back to health and uh, back to the general public. Yep, that they had a whole bunch of folks right there, Jeff. So we've got another little lull in the uh, parade. So getting it from all over the country, Florida, North Carolina, Essexville. So if you're listening, let us or watch it. Let us know where you're watching from, and we'll give you a little love out there on the TV. Emerald Sponsor, once again, we can't say thank you enough to Consumers Energy, McLaren Bay Region for the Shamrock Sponsor, Double Tree for an all-green sponsor, Surf Pro for being a green sponsor, Sponsor Tri City RV, where we're clean, cold, and or cool and comfortable today. Thumbprint, as well as uh, Bay County TV. We love doing this every yeah, we year. We do, and uh, we can't uh, thank Jan and the gang for asking us back again, Jeff, and city officials and the Bay County Bay City Public Safety. South Lion in Tawa. Wow, I, I've got a friend in South Lion. There's, he was at the hockey game with us oh, last week. Oh, I the, would say Tom that, might not, that might not be a coincidence <laughs> that it is. As we've got Serve Pro, one of our all green sponsors. They are a trusted leader in the home and business damage restoration industry. Team members live locally and are available 24 7 to respond to your call. They do a uh, great job, Jeff, when there's uh, any type of concern, fire, a water leak or anything, uh, those folks are on call 24-7. They will be right there with whatever you need to get done. Uh, no job too big or too small for that Serve Pro group. Well, and when you see that shade of green, yeah. you know it's Surf Pro, and you know they're there, and yeah. they're trying to re make great restoration decisions. That's a very distinct color of green for Serve Pro, and they do a uh, and they're all local, so they do a fantastic job. And we know 
what is coming up next. The oldest continuous marching band in the state of Michigan, as Mike Vincent, our friend, says, Bay City Central Wolves. And uh, they've been instructed to play the fight song as they get close to the corner here. So we're uh, going to be trusting that they come they through and they make that you. happen. So let's just give it a listen and hope they can make this happen for us. Oh, I think I think they are, Jeff. something special up her sleeve for us on <laughs> Bay County TV today. So thank you, Bay City Central. I didn't expect it, but it was fabulous. <laughs> they actually listened to you on uh, last Wait, week. When I'm you were marking up. this down on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> This is yes. another great band, and uh, boy, I just love the high school fight songs as they come by. Well, living as close as I do to Central, and I hear that Central band start up in August, it means one thing, two things. School's about ready to start, and football season's not too far away, Jeff. As I see our old friend Mark Spragata from Mark One Photography out there again. And Coming up next is a staple, as you talked about earlier, about all these bands. They've got to have one of these rigs to get their uh, to away games, yep. to competitions. They load this thing up, and uh, they make it a lot easier for the kids just to get to the event without having to lug their horns. That's been around a long time, Jeff. Also included is the Bay City Steelers. So, uh, again, congratulations to the oldest continuous marching band. Here's in two of my favorites. Yep. Sorry about that. That's Corbin right. Mizluski and Ellen. Ella Briggs, I uh, love seeing their smiles on their face every day at Bay City Central. I warned them, dress warm, folks. It is going to be a little <laughs> bit chilly today, but the smile they had today is the reason they're king and queen because they have it all day, every day, and it's a joy to be around Those them. Those are a lot of fun right there, Jeff. Next up, the Great Lakes Loons, and and uh, Louie entertained the entertainment loom Michigan by Michigan mid Michigan excuse me Michigan mid Michigan health landed that Dow Diamond man in August 25th of 2006 you were not at that first game we were at that first game it was a tad bit chilly this is a little better though than the 40 and 8 when you don't expect they're going <laughs> to yeah, blast it up that's what I thought it was that people first. have a little short <laughs> stuff and going on when they're surprised by it but Great Lake Loons have done a great job including a big championship a couple of years back. Michigan Sugar Company, how sweet it is. Welcome Michigan Sugar Company folk carrying the Michigan Sugar Queen, Brianna Cubio, and Queens Court attendant, Brooke Padgett, and Andrea Iveze here in downtown Bay City. Iveze, I tell you, you did, you've been doing your homework well, there, you partner. Know, you can look at these <laughs> names and just <laughs> split them right off. And uh, here's another one of the great people right off I-75, International RV World. The story starts in 1937 when the founder, Big Jim Harvey, was born, and that 1937 Schultz trailer started. And ever since then, they have uh, just been a huge part of the Tri-City area. And you ever get into the back of these, these things? These things are cool. In the back of this right now, it has got the six or eight feet in the back of both of these that are both ready for uh, you could pull RVs, snowmobiles behind those things in the back and still have a full family friendly area in the middle and a porch we got yes. a little porch off the back of these so if you wanted to have a quick diet pepsi or a, or a diet coke or a glass of water yes yes and yes <laughs> <laughs> Those things are awful cool, but you need a big old truck to pull something that big, too. Next, we've got the Bay City State Park. It's the first time that they've been in the parade. They're celebrating 100 years of memories from 1923 to 2023. The Rangers ask that you come out to the park this summer to help create the next 100 years of memories. 
in this great outdoor setting. They have got walk paths, guided walk paths and trails out there that are phenomenal. If you haven't been out there, please do it. You can walk right into the park and you'll be blown away. Who's that? Is that, is that Smokey Bear? Smokey! I didn't know Smokey was going to be in town today. Doesn't he owe you five dollars? <laughs> Next, do the Dog Scouts of America, Jeff, celebrates over twenty-five years as a nonprofit organization. Organization dedicated to positive training and teaching dogs to be a model canine citizen. Next is another great member of our parade for many years, the Michigan Bean Festival. The Bean Queen is Shaylin Laverick from Montrose, and the runner-up is Courtney Kaufman, and she's from Reese. Yeah. This is a festival that goes on every year on Labor Day weekend. As I was doing ball tournaments in Carroll, we would go by this festival, and believe me, it is very, very well attended and a lot of fun out there, very well supported out in the Akron Fairgrove area. The War of the Apostle of Fatima? The, uh, we encourage people to pray for our government and church leaders in healing for world peace. As there certainly uh, is a, a need for that at this time as a lot of crazy stuff going on. But McLaren Bay Region, we're lucky to care for you. And I like that motto because there's so many options anymore in health care. They consider it a privilege to care for you, and I like that mindset that they've got now as they continue to move forward in Bay City. Got a nice float coming up, Jeff. And, uh, again, Bay McLaren located over there on uh, next to Bay City Central High School, just to the east on Columbus Avenue. Do a fantastic job, and uh, thank you for being a big part of the community. They certainly are, and... Lucky to care for you again. I think whoever came up with that slogan, uh, it's very, very good. And I think we've got the uh, Micah Wider group coming up next, Jeff. Looking down the. Uh, is this St. Paul Lutheran? I Maybe believe. it is. Yes. Yep, yep. You're, you're absolutely right. As uh, we uh, look at them right now, the preschool through eighth grade believes in the education of the whole child, academic, social, physical, emotional, creative, and spiritual. STAP is a group of dedicated professionals who value the opportunity to see that your child reaches their God-given potential. That is beautiful. Bad Axe, Royal Oak, Merrill, Saginaw, Kalamazoo, Lake Isabella. Uh-oh, that might be the Brown family over there in Lake Isabella <laughs> listening and watching today. And Fisherville, just some of the great people wow. that have hopped on board. If that is Lake Isabella, Brown family, thanks for tuning in. Wow, impressive. Thank you, Nick, for uh, keeping an eye on that. As we continue to look down again, uh, we have got... Big thank you to Placemats uh, and then the Titan Golf and Pearson Environmental for s supplying the ever so important Porta Giants. Well, now we've got the Lions Club. Wow. Established in 1921, they have over 200 members, male and female, ranging from 18 to 90 years old. Every dime collected during tag days provide glasses and hearing aids to the Bay County residents. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, what? indeed. Hey, what? Where's our buddy Duke on there? Is Duke uh, rolling this year with that group? I don't see Duke on there. As a great group of Lions, I always love to see Tag Day. Always glad to support all of those people that risk their lives standing on the corner to make money for their organization. Yep, they're uh, vital in the uh, community again, Jeff. And is our friends from the Girl Scouts, uh, Troop Five zero four five six and a whole bunch of other Girl Scouts from across the state of Michigan, Jeff. Well, we got 3113, 108, 158, not, not, carry the not. 554, 50367. So great groups again, and it's nice to see that they're able to put a float together as these uh, young ladies. This is another thing, Mike, that is really starting a resurgence, and we've talked about it in the past, but it was dying off for a while. It's great that parents find value in teaching their kids these values in life. You know, it started out with uh, 18 girls, Jeff, in Savannah, Georgia, trying to make a difference, and uh, it has grown into what it is today. 
And so it's very important uh, that we keep this organization goals, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, all these uh, organizations that help our local youth. Just a great group of young people again as looks like uh, the girls get first in top billing. Wow. Well, then comes the Boy Scouts. Always and, the ladies and groups, first, but right? You know what? It's all good as we've got Troop 158G here represented. And again, uh, they also have uh, groups of 3113 and 108 in their grouping. So glad to have them along as. They Certainly make are. things happen. Pilgrim Lutheran and the St. Jude Thaddeus are represented. We're with the Cub Scouts. Eric Sandsburg is a coordinator, and this is the 25th year of marching in the parade. So we have got uh, Joy Dance Fitness. Dance your cares away with this fun body positive dance class using music. And here are the unified champions from Bay City Central as they do a tremendous job every year competing all over the state just did their basketball event a few weeks ago. It is heartwarming. Is the uh, Masonic family happy St. Patrick's Day? As uh, they've got quite a group and uh, some kilters out there too. They really must be braving it today. Is uh, it's great to see the Masonic group out. Well, one of our uh, one of our favorites coming up, Jeff. <laughs> well, and again, we just had that uh, the Joppa Lodge. I believe is all part of that too, and. The uh, Mid-Michigan Lodge is representing both the Grand Lodge of Michigan and the Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Michigan. And now uh, these are the people that we love because you know what? They never have any trouble getting into these seats, Mike. <laughs> it's getting out of them. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but they seem to do it. It's the Midland Area Shriner Club mini cars. And uh, I'll tell you what, these guys absolutely have a riot. I'm hoping every year they stop right out in front of us and do a little routine. So we'll see uh, what they're going to do this year. But they have a lot of fun. Well, you know what? You really got to be paying attention when you're the first group behind them because they're going to stop <laughs> yeah, and do their thing. And are. if you're waving at uh, Aunt Lily and Uncle Bob going by, <laughs> thanks, you know, yeah, you, you could have something you, orange you, underneath you better, your car. <laughs> you better keep your eye on the road, dude. <laughs> I think they're getting into formation yeah. for something special coming up here. <laughs> and all those guys are a lot of fun, and they have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> yeah. They get going pretty good, too. <laughs> watch watch, watch him, out, Jared. Jared. <laughs> he thought he was going to have orange lunch coming at him out there. <laughs> he didn't even oh flinch on goodness. the camera, though. That is a true professional. <laughs> it's like it's a Cass Avenue slaughterhouse, Jeff. Bay City's largest haunted house. Open Fridays and Saturdays in October, 8 to 11 p.m., located at the corner of Cass and Pine Roads. They do a great job, and Mr. McLean over at Bay City Central does a, a lot of the prep work for that as he is magical in uh, the great way time he puts that stuff together, indeed. <laughs> it's Bay City Public Schools Theater Department, Jeff. As they, uh, students from Western and Central, they did the Adams Family, which is great, and then Matilda with great success as well. They love promoting new theater experiences to their students. And Jordan Kaufman, a 2018 grad of Bay City Central with Jared and Natalie Doan, uh, has taken over that program and really doing an amazing job. He's young, he's energetic, and the kids are just flocking to that program. I, I will tell you this, we got some great talent here in our local school districts. Bay City Electric, light and power, keeping the lights on for more than 150 years and winner of the 2022 press President's Trophy. Again, seeing those people when they climb the pole oh. with the confidence that they do, knowing the voltage that's running through there, their safety record is impeccable, and uh, we're pleased at our house to have Bay City Light and Power. We're located right over there on the Saginaw River by the Lafayette Street Bridge, and Jeff, coming up next is... Uh, is a real hot one here in the fall in Bay City. It's the River of Time. This is a, a transition year, and we'll talk about this right now. Like a flowing river, the Bay City River of Time is moving their event location this year. The River of Time and the Johnson Street Pumpkin Farm have partnered together to present the living history on September 22nd through the 24th of this year. 
They'll have reenactors at the pumpkin farm, and uh, you'll pick your pumpkin to celebrate the fall season. And uh, they they needed to uh, find a new location, and everything worked out really good. And this is another thing now that they've incorporated even the World War II stuff, and uh, and sooner as Sir Leonard McInerney is also <laughs> in this group as they're getting ready to let one fly. Wow. So if you're not ready for that, <laughs> and uh, as the shells come down, they'll pick the shells up. But it is really a cool event that's been in Bay City forever. Now Johnson Pumpkin Farm, just out there on cast, just out of Bay City, will continue to make this an incredible event. Yep, they've got a lot of space out there. Jeff had my first time out there. Took our uh, grandson Gino out there for a few hours. And, man, there's a lot of stuff to do in a lot of areas. So thanks to Johnson Pumpkin Farm for helping out with the River of Time. Yep, that is almost a hidden treasure because they yeah. do stuff other than just at the oh. Halloween and, and Thanksgiving time of year. So stop out and see them at Johnson's. The donuts? Oh, <laughs> my Lord. My son is addicted to their donuts. <laughs> <laughs> they are very, very good. It's a good addiction. It sure is. Next, I believe we're going to have a group from the Boys and Girls Club as they provide a safe place for virtual learning, play, and homework assistant, STEM activities, literacy, meals, snacks, and mentorship, and just plain pure fun. Another uh, great organization, Jeff. Uh, located, yeah, located in between the bridges on Lafayette Street and satellites, uh, other places in the city. As uh, they're cruising around right now, and we're going to have the Garber and Kramer cheer team, the varsity cheer team, performed at the 2023 Citrus Bowl pregame performance with uh, UCA. How awesome is that? Yeah, they did a nice job, Jeff. So uh, coming up next is our friends from the, it looks like it's the Pinconi Middle School softball. Consists of three teams, girls from 6th to 8th grade, who attend middle school in Pinconi. And their program dipped for a few years, but things are really starting to happen again as Penn County had about a two-decade dominance of softball and volleyball, and they're working to get back at that. Got some uh, people coming in from... What's the first one, Nick? Wah. What? Well, Wah Katmandu, Bay City, Mimosa, Florida, Tampa, Queensboro, Kentucky. And Jerry Vogel says... Great job. Oh, my goodness. It Jerry O. <laughs> Welcome to the parade. As we have uh, moving on right now as we Kroger. will see Kroger. And the, the one right out here on Center <laughs> Avenue, I think you're uh, the best customer in the I, store. I, I'll tell you what, I could work there because if you ask me where something is, I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> you know, and when I go down the street, too, I do the same thing. I'm cruising down an aisle, see people confused at the one on Euclid. I'll say, what aisle do you want? And I'll send them right there. Yeah. We're going to listen right now as the Bay City Western Warrior Marching Band is going to put on a show for us. Kiri. As we listen, Dustin Vanderveer is the new man out there in charge of the Western bands. And There's their trailer, Jeff. That's a big one. That is a good-looking trailer. Travel in the state, following right behind the Bay City Western Marching Warriors. O'Donnell's Earthworks. Got some... Uh, Folks on the float listening to a whole bunch of uh, music, trying to figure out Randy Wise, our home and company, 
Infinite Construction. Oh, there it is, Fra Francisco Reyes and Friends. Middle, middle school grade support teams, baseball and basketball, accompanied by Randy Wise Hyundai. You were right on that one, brother. I was searching for it. And we have got the Canuties out there right now. As Canuti Dumpster offers seven-day-a-week dumpster rental, garbage, you got Moody? <laughs> we got Canuti. Call them. <laughs> Don't get moody. Just give yeah. give Canuti a call. Catch gotcha, moody. <laughs> call Canuti. Nice catchy phrase. <laughs> Again, like to thank some great people. Emerald sponsor, Consumers Energy, McLaren being a Shamrock, Double Tree for an All Green sponsor, Surf Pro for being an All Green sponsor, Tri City RV making us uh, look comfortable today, and Thumbprint. Also, a big thank you to the city officials and the Bay City Public Safety, County of Bay for their help in cooperation, Titan Golf Course, uh, Golf Carts, Pearson Environmental. Jeff, what do we got next up here in the parade? Serenity Equine Facility and Mid-Michigan Carriage Company offers horseback riding lessons for all ages, pony parties, and uniform encounters, summer camps. Mid-Michigan Carriage offers horse-drawn carriage services all over Michigan. Check them out on Facebook, and you know <laughs> who's got to be coming behind them. One of our favorite people in the parade, the super-duper no, super scoopers. He's not the favorite. He's the most important person in the parade. Well, if you're, well, if you're, if you're in front of these horses, yes. you're okay. Yeah, if you're, <laughs> if you're behind number 75, this will you're be the good. most important person in the parade. <laughs> there he is. He's got the big, major equip, piece of equipment he's walking and with. And you know yeah. what? They do it with a smile on they their do. faces. Every just year. a beautiful thing. What a cool thing to have that in the community, too, Jeff. Denny's Collisions with their 1955 Buick Century Riviera restored by Denny's Collision of Colin. They've been around since 1982, and the mini float features Denny's wife, Bonnie, and the family dogs. Boy, that just looks like uh, Billy Joe and, in the passenger seat <laughs> yeah. on a Friday night heading to the drive-in to share a drink with two straws. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you are old, brother. Yes. <laughs> Next, we've got DippedACC.com. They began with custom creation of a cocoa bomb and an idea to become more. Dipped grew to include other delectable custom creations. They decided to take their artesian confections out into the community and they share them at local events. Up next is our friends from Metro Skate West. They want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. One of the best roller skating rinks in Bay City. Metro State West Roller Skating Rink is a 1-4 indoor roller skating rink. is open all year round and founded in 1980. That is something that a lot of people don't think about. If you've got some time off with your kids, you send them roller skating for a few hours, and they'll come home all tuckered out. But, boy, I remember during the big hair days of the 80s going out to the roller rink. I couldn't skate, but I sure didn't miss many trips out to <laughs> well, the roller rink. You could shake your groove thing back then, couldn't you? When it moved, yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got H&M Feed. Seed and Supply, it's a local store with lots to offer. They have chicks, animal feeds, a full greenhouse, lawn and garden supplies, locally raised beef, just to name a few. Stop and see them on Henry. All right, Jeff, I want to thank a few more of our sponsors. I want to thank the uh, Parade Association, also Dave Nelson and the gang at Nelson & Company Jewelry for their support and donation, First Presbyterian Church, uh, Bay Metro for keeping the bands warm, uh, the volunteers from Central, Western, Glen, All Saints, and Garber High School for helping out with the lineup and cleaning up the parade route. Well, again, I'm Jeff Doan along with Mike Wasdala. Jared Doan doing a great job outside, staying warm. Nick Page producing and directing, and his assistant way upstairs Ooh. in the crow's nest, Stephen Bauer. Pushing. He's pushing all, all the, the right, right buttons. buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have Stephen along with our group today. Looks like our friends from uh, Weiler's Tree Service serving the uh, greater Bay Area, Bay Area. They offer residential and commercial tree trimming, tree removal, lot cleaning, and stump grinding. Grinding. All you got to do for a free quote, give them a call, 989-714-9102. 
to watch that stump grinding machine is something <laughs> special because you go, what am I going to do with this stump? And this thing just comes and well, chews it up and spits it out, and then you just got a little bit of dust after you that. You do is give Weilers a call, and they'll take care of it they'll for you. do it all. Next uh, coming up right now is the Taste of Bay City. And they're home of the dollar tacos on Wednesday, because I know that. And the Taste of Midland is the home of Margarita Flights. So they're down in the south end of Bay City. That is a great uh, locally owned and operated place. And they serve fabulous food. Been there a few times, Jeff. Absolutely fantastic taste. Uh, the Taste of Bay City. Next up, Bay City's ba Bay Bailey's Bar, excuse me, over there on Salzburg. Bailey's Bar and Grill is an awesome establishment with great food and drinks. And uh, looks like they've got a whole bunch of followers on uh, Facebook. They've got a great contingency. That's just another great local neighborhood outdoor spot. Outdoor area, uh, too. And that's becoming very popular, too, to have that nice outdoor facility when the weather is just a tad bit warmer than it is right now. <laughs> Honey Septic, serving the Greater Bay and surrounding areas. Call us to have your septic tank cleaned and pumped. And for the best price and best service around, give Honey Septic a call. And you thought your job stinks, it says on the side. <laughs> Apropos. Kicking it. Kicking in the Mitten is a line dancing class open to everyone. We have seven classes a week, and some classes are held at the Will Lou, Lo Will Lou Lounge, and they also have DJ and party events, Jeff. So um, kicking it in the Mitten. Line dancing is still a pretty hot thing. That is, and, and a lot of that goes down on 3rd Street, down by the river in the summertime, too. They'll get people on a nice night outside, and... Uh, I got six left feet. I'm, I'm not a line dancer. I can't follow direction that well. They're boot scoot boogieing right now. Yeah, I can I, hear them. I scoot scoot uh, right in and have another pop. We'll pick, we'll pick you up. <laughs> what do we got now? Looks like Bob's Towing and Recovery Incorporated serving the Bay City, Auburn, and Freeland areas. So uh, they've got quite a nice fleet and a couple of great representations here today. Still a nice crowd down, uh, looking down Center Avenue, Jeff. From we're located right out in front of the uh, Bay County Building, across from the uh, library and the Wirt Library. So we've got a good view down to the east on Center. Still got a good crowd hanging out here for the 68th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. It is just a glorious day. I don't even feel the wind or any. Oh, no. wait, we're inside thanks to Tri-City RV. <laughs> Boy, what a great setup they give us again. Here's another Sunrise Pedal Trolley. They start their season on May 1st. Book your event now at sunrisepedaltrolley.com. They have three of these working three to four shifts on the weekend and two shifts during the week. What a fabulous time. We did that for my daughter's 21st birthday. What a time we had. I'm telling you, Jeff, I'll be sitting on my porch over at the Ponderosa on Johnson Street, and they'll come by three or four times a night and absolutely having a, a blast on that pedal trolley. That is truly what it's all about. Now, looks like we might have the John Gled pom-pom as seen on America's Got Talent TV program, and they did a fabulous yes, job. Yes, they did. They're the 2023 state champions. Welcome the John Glenn Varsity Pom Pom and Mini Palmers, the Palmers of tomorrow. Man, nice numbers for the uh, John Glenn folks, Jeff. And they're pretty well synced out right yes, now, too, are. of all ages and under great tutelage. And, you know, it's easy to inspire yourself to want to be part of that when you see them going on national TV showing all the hard work that they've done to master their craft. Yeah, that was a big uh, big event going on, Jeff. A lot of people uh, tuned in to watch the uh, John Glenn Pom Pom team do their thing. And uh, congratulations to those girls uh, for a great job. And I know we've done this a lot, but we can't thank our sponsors enough. Again, Consumers is the Emerald sponsor. McLaren Bay Region for Shamrock. Double Tree by Hilton for their All Green. Thank you to Surf Pro for being the All Green sponsor as well. 
Also, the uh, Tri-City RV for providing the motorhomes. Thank you to Thumbprint for their services. Bay County TV crew for live streaming the broadcast and the parade to all of the community, and pretty much all the world. Uh, city officials and Bay City Public Safety Department, Tired Armstrong, coordinator for keeping everybody safe during our parade and throughout the year. Thank you to the County of Bay for your help and cooperation. Placemats for you. Titan Golf as they supplied a whole bunch of golf carts. Pearson Environmental with all the porta potties on the route and the Parade Association members who work all year long to make this 135 unit parade the great success that it is. Nelson and Company for their support and uh, jewelry and their donations. First Pres Church for the hospitality. Bay Metro for keeping our bands warm. Volunteers from all the high schools there Central, Western, Glen, All Saints, and Garber. And don't forget, Mark One Photography. Yes, indeed. The Tri-City Bounce House. Call and rent the Tri-City Bounce House for your next party. Lots of options for every budget. The best service in town, both locally owned and operated. And I'm going to tell you what, this is That's a, a nice party one. pleaser. You have kids at a party. You send them into this thing for a couple hours. And <laughs> when mama and dad pick them up after the party, they'll fall asleep on the way home. Then mom and dad know they truly had a great time. I just saw Elvis go by in one of those little mini cars. Did you see him? No, he's I in saw, the house. I, Yeah, I'm telling you. All right. Looks like we've got best bail bonds LLC. And for all your bail bond needs, call best. We handle the rest. Serving the entire lower peninsula of Midland, Michigan, both locally owned and operated as well. Up next is Apex Dumpster Rentals for the best service and price round call Apex Dumpster Rentals, locally owned and operated. I think there's a theme going here, locally <laughs> owned and operated. And we tell you people, as we talked about at the top of the parade, we encourage you to utilize these local folks as they are here and they are showing their wares in the parade. We need to keep them in business, and by calling them for your rental needs, a place like Apex stays in business. I always like the local uh, local organizations, Jeff. And it looks like Flappy's Bakehouse has all natural dog treats, handmade dog toys, and we offer doggy daycare and boarding, obedience classes, private lessons, and group walks for, for your favorite pet. They've got them of all sizes. Uh, look like for the most part they're getting along great, which is always fun to see. The Bay City Car Meets, Michigan's largest family-friendly car group. We support Toys for Tots and Trunk or Treats for Kids, two great organizations. Think part of, just part of the uh, Flappy's Bakehouse, Jeff, with all these uh, hopped up cars and stuff. But right after that is the uh, Bay County Fair and Youth Exposition. They've been around a while. Look at these uh, these vehicles here, boy. It uh, it's fun to see these cars and the way that they're all done up. Look at the lights on this SS here as that's coming down the street and. Looks Got a like few it. dollars into the tires, too. <laughs> looks like that might head out to Tri-City Dragway. And I, I believe the uh, speaker systems work pretty well in all the above as well. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> as we've got uh, a few more people, Mount Pleasant, Dayton, Ohio, and Fruitport, wow. Michigan. Fruitport, Michigan. That's where the uh, Wagners live over there. So Maybe they're watching. Don't know if a Sherry and Randy Wagner are amongst the people that are tuned into the parade today. If you are, thanks for tuning in. Bay County Fair, 158 years, Jeff. August 8th through the 12th. Bay County Fair Queen is Jenna Miller. And the 22... 2022 Bay County Princess is Haley Haverkamp. So Bay County Fair and Youth Exposition going strong, Jeff. Well, and we love the way that that has turned back into a great event. Every night in the grandstand area, they've got events going on. It's becoming a more popular destination. And I was worried about it, quite frankly, it, for yeah, a few years. It, it was uh, but good to see they're back and doing very well. 
our friends from Bay Metro Transit submission to provide high quality public transportation services to the residents of Bay County. This means operating a system that is economical and efficient, a system safe for both employees and the public. It also means providing transportation services which is reliable and predictable. While it is our goal to serve all county residents, the needs of seniors and the disabled will be assigned a special priority. That is a thing of beauty, and they are all over town. They also work in conjunction with some schools mm -hmm. to provide uh, routes that don't always uh, have the bus drivers available. And as we get to the uh, Bay City school bus drivers later, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Well, and uh, Eric Sprague is the uh, manager of... Uh the uh, Bay Metro does a great job over there, and so an, another another vital part of our local community. Green for Life. We have uh, Green for Life Environmental. They're the only major diversified environmental service company in North America offering services in solid waste management, liquid waste, and soil uh, remediation. That's a tongue pull. <laughs> As uh, they do a great job, and and our friends from Billy's don't be silly. Well, they uh, Green for Life bought Billy's. Oh, so, so that's, Billy, Billy's yeah. about Billy's still got some uh, don't be silly call Billy stuff hanging around. It's uh, I think that's been about two years, yeah. or two and a half years Correct. since GFL took over yep. for Billy. Yep. You know, we might not see Billy in the parade next year, so we had to be <laughs> don't be silly one last time. Well, if they have a red one up there, we're going to keep saying it. But Green for Life has uh, done a great job. Well, Billy's just went by ahead of GFL. That's where <laughs> yeah. I saw it. So I was happy one last time we get to see a Billy. And I think now we've got Tasha Cole Photography. They do high school seniors, families in Essexville Bay City and in the surrounding areas. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's located right downtown Bay City. If, um, I'm not sure either, but it's uh, you got to love it when these uh, local people can uh, carve out a niche yep. and uh, pictures and baby pictures and coming up this time of year, graduation pictures. Uh, they're creative. The American Royal Beauties, welcome to the Queen, Lisa Miner. Their motto, Crown to Serve, encourages that their queens serve their communities by, by participating with local service agencies to help those that are in need. It's uh, wonderful that they offer, they welcome women and girls of all ages, shapes, sizes, and believe that uh, they're competing in a pageant can be a huge source of personal development. Here's the Wirtz Warriors, Jeff. Since 1982, the Wirtz Warriors have raised over $8.8 .8 to support 21,000 Special Olympics Michigan athletes. Founded by Detroit Tigers great Vic Wirtz in 1982, the Wirtz Warriors have been riding their snowmobiles throughout northern Michigan to raise funds for Special Olympics. Right behind them looks like Sunrise Sunrise Side Towing. Is uh, Sunrise Towing doing a great job? That's another new uh, big Ford rig. Serving all of the mid-Michigan area and obviously with rigs of all sizes to make it happen. Followed by our friends from Labity Auto Company. That is a half-ton crew cab Denali. Uh, the first point of contact at Labity South Euclid. You'll find my wife Maria Doan there. Oh. And yesterday they were part of the big giveaway for the run. They brought 500 green Labity shirts and a whole bunch of other giveaways. And Maria was there for four and a half hours just spreading a Did little a Labity shirt? love. She got one. <laughs> hey, Tri-Area Trucking School, jumpstart your commercial driving career with Tri-Area Trucking. The experienced instructors at Tri-Area will provide you with both the classroom instruction and hands-on learning that will help you become a confident, skilled truck driver. We, we need a lot of those. Indeed, that is an area that they are begging for people all the time to uh, come with. Now we've got In Cahoots Country Line Dance Club, LLC. Just out here dancing and having fun while spreading a little cheer. All right, brother, get up. I want to see you. I want to see you go. 
Not with two left feet. I'll bounce into the <laughs> side wall here of the Tri-City tri RV vehicle we got. <laughs> Man, there's an old John Deere tractor. They like you heard it. Sexy tractor, right? <laughs> that must be the John Deere right behind him that's that they're it. talking about. That's it. <laughs> Tri City Motor Speed Speedway with Brad Trico and his new race car. Experience the different. Tri City Motor Speedway is a family friendly, friendly racing rev venue that offers circle track stock car racing late April through early September. Well, for for decades, it was a paved track. Now they've gone to the dirt track, but it has really turned into a cool place to be again. They're jam-packed on their uh, nights out there that they run from spring right straight through to fall. What a great venue here. Kind of a hidden treasure in the Auburn area. You know who this is, Jeff? Village Towing, big or small, we haul them all. Village Towing has been serving the area for over 30 years. They pride themselves on service and take care of their customers like families. And uh, I can vouch for that. Michelle and the gang do a tremendous job out there at Village Towing. Well, and uh, you've had your vehicle need of repair a couple of times, yep. and they have done a fabulous job and keeping your vehicle on the road and a smile on your face. <laughs> That's vi vitally important. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Next, we have got Dalny RV Center. They've been making camping fun since 1971. This is a Striker toy hauler. Has the Striker toy hauler, again, has that area in the back where uh, you can sit out there and enjoy things. You can haul and store things in the back of it and still plenty of room for all your family fun inside. And a little bit of a porch to go along with that too, Jeff. Next up is uh, My Michigan Made is an advertiser bringing communities and small businesses together. My Michigan Made uh, is a, a newer organization that's really looking to add their footprint to the Tri-City area. And uh, it's a great place right now, and we wish them continued success. And you can uh, just look at the square right there on the wall if you want more information. Yes. Just pop it up onto your phone, and uh, I'd have to say, Jared, show me how to do this. But <laughs> it's not, just not take a picture, buddy. <laughs> just take a picture. Mid-Michigan Sting is a youth organization. Their philosophy is to give you our youth an opportunity to play basketball at an advanced level. And they teach those kids a lot about life, too. Not all your experiences are going to be favorable on the basketball court. you got to learn to be a good sport and a, a great person as well. Now we've got the South End Bar. It's on Fergus Street, and it features DJs on the weekend, live entertainment, just another one of the great establishments we're blessed with having in Bay City. And I'm going to date ourselves back in the day. It used to be called Sandy's, if you remember yes. correctly. And some of the best pizzas in Bay City came out of that Sandy's Pizzeria. So... Uh, that's going back a long ways. One that, of us is old. I'm not sure who it is. Well, you're months older than I am, so we're going to go with you, brother. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you just turned to <laughs> and I won't be yeah. for a while. <laughs> In September it is. Bay I'll, County Library System, Jeff. That is great. The bookmobile is on the road four days a week yet and serves all of Bay County. I thought eight or ten years ago that this was going to be a dying breed. They've done a great job in getting these books out and available to kids, and they rotate the books. This is a real popular yeah. stop uh, all around Bay County. Next up is the Anna Center for Children. It's a nonprofit organization for foster care, adoption, and counseling located in Saginaw, Michigan. They do a fantastic job, does the Anna Center. Now we've got the Antiques Toy and Firehouse Museum. A 1951 Crosley Fire Education Vehicle it was originally in service in the Grand Rapids area. The West Conning, Wisconsin Fire Department in the 1922 Model T Prospect Fire Engine that was uh, originally over in the Lansing area. The museum is located in the world famous FDNY Super Pumper. And it contains more than 13,000 antique and collectible toys. And visit our webpage for more information. That was a cool little fire engine that just went by. I haven't seen that one before. I don't remember seeing that in the parade before. 
Next up is the Auburn Glen Highland Dancers, Jeff. They've been teaching, promoting the art of Scottish Highland dance since 2002. Their dancers compete throughout the Michigan and the United States and internationally. They also perform uh, throughout the state year-round. They offer Scottish dance lessons for all ages from four through adult. They also offer Highland Hustle, a Scottish dance-based dance fitness class. So there's another uh, dance school you can go to. The way they're jumping and bouncing right now, <laughs> I'd need more than a couple of leave to be able to do that and still get up and go to work on a I, Monday morning. I just gave you one before the show, the parade. I, I don't have any more left, my friend. Let Sorry. me know when you join, and I'll come and watch you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Garber Chevrolet from Linwood. Our community does better when you do business with Garber. Find the Chevy that is right for you, part of the Garber Automotive Group family all over the Tri-Cities. Yeah, Dick Garber and the gang, they do a wonderful job, Jeff, and they're up in uh, Linwood and the northern uh, Bay County area. They got them in Saginaw. I think they got one in Midland also. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, what, a, what a nice man that Dick Garber is and very highly involved in his community and uh, was really the uh, gentleman that brought the Saginaw spirit to uh, Saginaw and the Great Lakes Bay region. Look at this beautiful Chevy. I know Jared's taking a peek at it. As, <laughs> he just as, got he a says, new That's one. even better than my 2019. So we've got uh, Grand Ledge, uh, Michael Kegley in Fulton, Texas with Wendy Joel. So... That is uh, just wow, some we've got them. great folks from all over the place. And again, while we've got a minute, Mark and Heidi Nirenberger, this is a peanut butter sandwich cookie. No, it is an M&M &M <laughs> cookie with vanilla middle. And, uh, it, you know, see that it's thing. a one-pounder. Wow. I, I think when you and I dive into this, when we're getting done talking about it after the parade is done, we'll be thanking Mark and Heidi yeah. for a long time to that, come. Plus, there's an assortment of goodies yep. uh, for us behind. They must really like us. Well, uh, or uh, or they needed to know that we like it, and we we needed a little bit of extra weight on us because we're getting too skinny. Not going to tell everybody, but there might be an announcement about a new location coming oh, up soon. Keep it under your hat. I, I won't tell a soul. <laughs> Thank you, Mark and Heidi. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, pipe band coming up, Jeff. And we're just going to listen. Another great addition. Boy, I can never hear too many of those oh, little man. That's the Pipe best. and fife drum groups. Is this our friends? Yeah, this is our friends from uh, BZAC Builders coming up next, Jeff. Yep, they're rocking the parade in uh, the parade within the parade. They have it all. They can handle all the exterior needs of your home or business. Call them today for a free expert analysis, estimate, and consultation with one of their experts. And they're based in Bay City, but they cover all of northern Michigan as well. BZAC Builders. Another great local company. Jeff, see their trucks uh, around the lot. And they have their own little dumpster that uh, people have started using for their roofing project. It'll take it right up to roof level instead of letting it slide down. It slides right into that roofing dumpster so uh, they can get the job done a little bit quicker than normal. Well, and if you've ever had to deal with picking the stuff up off the ground, when they can raise that up and it goes right off the roof and you've got minimal or yep. no cleanup on the ground, it's a thing of beauty. It looks like they're all having a great time waving at Jared. Jared's the most popular guy on the parade route right I'm gonna now. I'm going to tell you what. Everybody's he's waving most, at him. He's the most popular guy <laughs> at our house, too, so why not be the parade as well? <laughs> oh, it's just a great thing. Bay County Medical Care Facility. A 24-hour skilled nursing facility in Hampton Township. They offer both short and long-term in-house rehabilitation, along with a variety of activities to keep you going. And they just went through a uh, major remodeling out there over the last few years. So they, uh, they have upgraded. It is absolutely uh, gorgeous when you walk in, and they do a, another vital thing for our uh, senior citizens here in our community. And if I'm not mistaken, you give us weekly updates on Wednesday. 
Sixty-nine. I do. I know how that uh, uh, I do. It's changing. beautiful from the ninth <laughs> tee out there at the Bay County Golf Course. <laughs> Hidalgo Entertainment, DJ and entertainment company, specializing in private parties, weddings, photo booths. You know, hall rental, entertainment, statewide. This is a great group. Been around for many, many years in the Tri-City area. Those photo booths are really cool. They've been real popular at weddings and things like that or graduations. So uh, just uh, just another fun thing to do uh, uh, from Hildago. Well, and they allow us to come out of our shell, which a you and I bit. don't do often. You know, you're going to take a picture, you might as well go out of your shell. <laughs> While we're dancing. Yes. <laughs> that would be perfect. <laughs> Looks like we have got expressions in motion, dance. As we are glad they're with us, we are looking right now and looking for information on them. Forgive us as uh, now we are looking at residential home health and the proactive hospice, Jeff. There, uh, yep. Residential is a leading provider of home health and hospice service. They focus on growing impactful solutions that meet dynamic needs across the entire health care community. And here we've got Bell Wasik, your dealer for the people. No need to press your luck, Bay City. You can get into a vehicle for as little as $2 down. Really? Let's go. <laughs> by you know, by Tuesday or Wednesday, we probably would have to take it back. <laughs> it uh, that's great, you know, to have virtually no money down well, on a vehicle. And if I had two dollars in my pants pocket, I think I have somebody else's pants on. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> and here we've got a uh, Ram truck from Thalen, as they are doing the bearded acts here, building a community to provide an entertainment place for customers ranging from beginners to expert. The bearded acts will always be the place to throw axes, ninja stars, and tomahawks located in Saginaw. The people that have done that said it's fabulous I've fun. I've watched it on ESPN. It's pretty cool. United Financial Credit Union, through innovative, friendly, and quality service, United Financial Credit Union will provide long-term financial stability to their credit union, our members, and their families. Who are you going to call? <laughs> Central Michigan Ghostbusters, featuring an Ecto-4A Ghostbuster car. The Michigan Ghostbusters is a nonprofit organization that supports through fundraising and creates awareness of autism. See Facebook for their next appearance. Man, look at that. This That's is, it. Uh, this is something we see at Bay City Central uh, as well as Mr. McLean is uh, well connected with the this group and uh, helps to keep this vehicle looking good. That is pretty cool. Is who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> There's the boy. I remember when that came out. That was a hot movie. That was uh, another <laughs> one of those Murray movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stevenson Home and Homes and Renovations, uh, kitchen, bathrooms, addition, pole building, siding, decks, new constructions. Stevenson's Homes and Renovation. Where now? Where are we at now? Oh, just Lake Jackson, Texas. Wow. You know, with uh, Mo Meager and company <laughs> down there. So thanks, Mo, for tuning in, and thanks everybody for we tuning in from it. the and, country. Uh oh, we got to go outside for a minute as uh, uh, we've got our friends from Area's Best Carpet throwing some treats and stuff. It's family owned and operated for over 25 years, and proudly serves the Tri City and surrounding areas. They do a fabulous job and uh, they're readily available 24 hours a day if you've got an emergent situation you can give them a call and uh, they will come and uh, soak up the water and take care of whatever needs to be cleaned looks like this is the arc of bay county jeff serving people with intellectual and developmental disabilities for the last 70 years As uh, we're looking like we're uh, probably coming down to about the last Getting 15 close. spots left in this uh, parade. It has been a great parade, and people look like they're still smiling on their faces as they're cruising down. Welcome once again. I'm Jeff Doan along with Mike Wasdala, Jared Doan outside with the coldest job in town, but doing a fabulous job. Nick Page producing and directing. 
And we got Stephen Bauer overseeing the operation high atop in the penthouse suite of the Bay County building. <laughs> Key is cardio drumming. What it, what if exercise was fun? Cardio drumming is for everybody. Join Key is online cardio drumming and Key is online online strength and conditioning classes. Online cardio drumming includes five 40 minute videos with a bonus strength training video and 24 seven access for the month then we've got the digital mitten that just cruised by it's your premier social media company for the great lakes bay region and beyond again as we've done a ton the emerald sponsor consumers energy mclaren bay region is a shamrock sponsor double tree by hilton is a green sponsor surf pro another green sponsor tri-city rve doing a great job we appreciate what they do Thumbprint for their services. Bay County TV for what we do. Uh, Heidi's Darn Good Cookies. We're uh, ready to dive into those as well. All the great city and county officials that uh, have to give their stamp of approval to make all this happen. Yeah, big thank again, Jeff, to the county placemats for you for their services. Titan Golf for supplying the carts back and forth on the parade route. K&B Dance Company. Our mission is to infuse a love and passion for dance while inspiring both self-confidence, discipline, and respect. They provide a solid technical foundation for the developing dancer. There might be hope for you and I yet, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we ought to get that number and head out to KMB and dance and see if they can help us. They, they would probably <laughs> say after the first it. couple of times, they go, here's your money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it was fun having you yeah. spread the they, word that there's they, hope, but for you yeah. guys, no hope. We 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 had a lot of success in our in our dance studio, but you two aren't going to make it. No, we uh, we might need to transition into something a little safer for us, brother. <laughs> But again, what a great day, a sun-soaked day. It's a little chilly with the wind, but really hasn't diminished the number of people no. that come out for the first right of spring. Well, we're getting close to the end, Jeff. Up next, Hidden Dragon Martial Arts provides martial arts training for students of all ages starting at three years old. They encourage confidence building, empowerment, and fun in a safe learning environment. Learn skills that last a lifetime. If you've got kids and you do not know what to do with their free time, I strongly suggest this. Both Jared and Natalie went through a similar, not this group in the day, but it'll teach you discipline, it'll teach you self-confidence, but it will also teach you how to take care of yourself. If you find yourself in a situation where you need to get out of, it will teach you how to get out of holds and in, uh, in situations yep. and uh, could save your life. Yep, you uh, spoke very highly of what they went through uh, a few years ago, but uh, they truly enjoyed it, and, uh, and it's a great, keeping kids busy and doing some things is always a good thing. Well, again, and it teaches them great discipline, and uh, that, that is something that uh, then carries over into the home front. Here comes our friends from Gardner White. They've been in business since 1912, Jeff. The, uh, this is guiding principle has allowed them to stay true to their company's values and responsive to the evolving industry and staying dedicated to those who serve. Expressions in motion has mature, experienced, and certified instructors in an affordable dance and tumbling classes here. There was a, uh, bay, this was a bus from the Bay Aranek ISD, one of those little 15 passenger mini bus. And up next is uh, something that you see on a daily basis, Jeff, is the Bay City Public Schools bus always looking for bus driver. It is a major shortage in the nation today is school bus drivers, Jeff. And and I can't tell you exactly what their starting wage is, but you would be pleasantly surprised if you are qualified to be able to do this. It is a very lucrative business all day long, and it's even more lucrative if you go after hours for athletic events. Yep. They are starving for after hours athletic yep. event drivers. Mid Michigan garage door, uh, Jeff, is in the parade. They were on our paper just a few few sheets ago serving the tri-city garage doors dramatically improve the appearance of your home or business more importantly a quality garage door protects you your family and your uh, they protect you and your family employees from harsh michigan weathers and discourages a break-ins I'm going to tell you what, brother. You uh, do a fabulous job. You kept that handy so that you could access it. I knew it. they were you're, coming. I just didn't know when. <laughs> you're just a true veteran of many campaigns. Well, 
sitting next to you, I've learned a lot over well, all these years. What to do, and more you're importantly, a, probably not what to do. <laughs> you're a compendium of knowledge. Well, boy, I look down at the end, and I, I'm seeing the flashing lights coming near the end of this parade. I look down, now we got the Bayside Buggies coming right now introducing a new business that will offer a shuttle service for entertainment and tourist people and purposes in the uptown, downtown, and Midland Street districts. I went to Pittsburgh uh, to a boat race with my daughter Natalie a couple of years ago. We went to a baseball game after. We were about a mile and three quarters from our vehicle. We hopped in one of these things, and for 20 bucks, they just hoof you the two there miles, you and uh, you enjoy the evening and let somebody else do the work. The Polish Hillbillies is a Tri-City-based company specializing in fun-filled tours and trips. Whether you're an individual or a group looking for a day trip or a scenic getaway someplace exciting or beautiful, we are in the travel company for you. 15 passenger vehicle natalie used that for her 21st birthday and the pedal trolley she had to have two parties but uh, johnny shersley and the group at uh, polish hillbillies he was the most gracious host and they did a great job looks like now we might be looking at jr's all-star haircuts haircuts for men get your head in the game Griffin Transit, Jeff, serving the Tri-City area and all of Michigan, licensed and insured with the state of Michigan since 2017. Give us a call and consider us for your next travel needs. And I'm going to tell you what, they do a fabulous job. They fill a big void of people that don't have vehicles and need to get around town. They're quick and efficient and get there to take care of everything. Next up is the uh, SX Blog, it is a YouTube channel with 82,000 subscribers that's based in Midland. Nick Doug and the other Nick, a chemical technology, mechanical engineer, local owner who share a passion for the same hobby. Those things are cool. You and I would need a, a major hoist to get up into that thing. Coming down, we'd we feel need like a fork truck. We were heading to a new county. <laughs> As uh, the big dogs are uh, cruising down the street right now as we are nearing the end of what has been a fabulous parade covering now. Uh, they got this parade done in uh, about an hour and 35 or Not 40 bad. minutes. With, so. uh, they had a nice turnout this year, Jeff, over 130 units walking down Center Avenue. And, uh, oh, there's another important member of the parade bringing up the the rear uh, two equestrian folk coming up late and uh, a little super duper pooper scooper to end the uh, end of the parade well, as we've still got we got one one more gentleman that's in this every year and he he's uh he's not very good at fantasy football so uh he's uh last place again this year if i was him i'd quit playing well you know <laughs> He says to compete is to win. Right. So well. he considers himself a major winner every year, even though he's uh, having a problem. Uh, he's not going to come home with any money, but the pride of the competition, he's a winner. Yeah, well, competition breeds success, so hopefully one of these years he'll be successful. <laughs> and a nice uh, RS Camaro there as uh, we're down to the one so of the last. Mr. Bartizan. Newsham, it looks like, is going to give us him and Mr. Rao do their – Annual salute. They're going to do their customary annual salute, and they have got things down. Looks like Jan Rao there in the middle of that group as well, as they are three people that do an unbelievable job of uh, making this parade work. And uh, they're going to start next week for next year's yep. already. But i got to believe with 135 entries this year, they were really, really pleased with the turnout. Yeah, Jeff, it was a really good parade. It was uh, very quick this year. For You said an hour and 35, 40 minutes. Uh, did a nice job. It was another great day. Weather cooperated. Again, a little bit windy, a little bit chilly, but you know what? Uh, it, we're used to that here in Bay City, and we always turn out well for the parade. Well, and again, people from all over the country, 
Super Grammy, Mary Ida Doan even was, got a late entry watching? in that she was watching the parade. And, and it's a little chilly for some, but yeah, uh, for yep. those that can't make it, we were really pleased with all the people from around the country that found value in a little touch of Bay City as uh, they're yeah. in other parts of the country. Yeah, the group from uh, St. Clair Shores came up. want to say hi to my grandkids. Foster and Gino are, are watching over at the Ponderosa. So uh, we've got them all from all over the state and all over the country watching today, Jeff. And we uh, thank them for watching and uh, letting us come into their homes and on their computers and phones and stuff for uh, the 68th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Truly blessed with the opportunity, brother, as brother, always, to sit next to your side. There you think is nobody have does us it. Back? I hope for 69, uh, we're back for at least a swan song <laughs> as we can make it happen. I hope I don't, so. I don't think anybody has more fun than we do, and uh, to work next to you is not like work. It's just a pleasure and a joy. It's been a joy, Jeff, for almost 30 years now, probably 30 years, and we love it, and I hope everybody uh, likes watching and loves listening, and uh, let's do it again next year. On behalf of the whole crew, I'm Jeff Doan, along with Mike Wasdala. Jared Doan just came in to try and warm up. Nick Page producing and directing. And, oh, don't forget about Can't Stephen Bauer upstairs. Thank you all for being part of this 68th annual. Look forward to seeing you next year. God bless one and all, and we'll see you soon.